Hi, this is episode 100 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. A common pattern I see with students learning how to code is that they first quickly learn a massive amount of information. But this is followed by running into a seemingly insurmountable wall. In this phase, the student typically feels like they've reached the zenith of what they're going to be able to accomplish in regards to development. The second phase is called a plateau. In this guide, we're going to walk through the strategies for getting past skill plateaus. I've spoken before about learning curves, and it's important to understand that everyone follows a similar pattern when it comes to learning a new skill. This means that you're going to experience times where it seems like every day you're just soaking in a wealth of new information. But it also means that you're going to run into times where it feels like your mind will limit what you can do and what you can learn. When it comes to hitting a learning plateau, it's important to look at the potential root causes for why it's occurring. It's been my experience that no two plateaus are the same, and until you've diagnosed why you're not learning, you won't be able to move on to your next level of skill. And before I continue, I want to reiterate something. You'll never reach a point where your level of skill is maxed out. Maybe if you're a professional athlete and you're getting older, then your body is naturally going to decrease in performance. But when it comes to concepts such as understanding development, if you continue to dedicate yourself and if you're willing to listen to experts, your skill is never going to reach a ceiling. Through the years, I've witnessed a few key reasons why individuals and myself run into skill plateaus. First is when a student lacks access to proper information. This makes learning a much more arduous process. Imagine a talented developer in high school or college who's been relying on her teacher who had limited skill. In cases like this, the student needs to find additional resources, such as online courses, that help teach her concepts that she's never been taught before. Next is what I call the best practice plateau. During this phase of the learning cycle, when best practices are the focus, students may feel like they're hitting a learning plateau. I remember when I was first learning about test-driven development. The concept seemed counterintuitive. I'd actually have to spend two to three times the amount of time on a feature build, and this became incredibly frustrating. It felt like I wasn't learning anything new because any new knowledge wasn't actually affecting anything on the screen. However, this phase isn't actually a skill plateau. There are many times where developers need to take a step back and focus on quality over quantity when it comes to building applications. My advice for going through this phase is to embrace it. Be patient. As soon as you have a firm understanding on how the best practices can be utilized, you'll be able to move on to learning new concepts. The only difference is that now you're going to be able to leverage your new skills, the result being that you're going to become a more refined developer. Last on this list, in my experience, the main cause of students hitting a skill plateau is when they stop challenging themselves. If you remember back to when you were first learning about development, it seemed like your knowledge was skyrocketing every day. The reason for this was because each of the concepts you were learning were completely new to you. However, after a certain period of time, it seems like it's a natural tendency for us to want to become comfortable. Instead of trying to learn something new each day, we're simply trying to duplicate the work that we've done up to a certain point just to get a feature or an application working. This approach is less taxing mentally. However, it has a nasty side effect of limiting how we can improve. Whenever I feel like I'm getting into a rut, I go and look at popular websites and I start to put together a list of features that I want to learn how to build but that I've never done before. From that point, I can put a plan together for what concepts I need to learn in order to implement them. One of my favorite illustrations of getting past skill plateaus was made by the calligrapher Jamin Brown. Notice in this illustration how the learning process is filled with plateaus. This is a natural component when it comes to improving at any skill. But also notice that the key to overcoming a plateau is called the frustration zone. I think that's a great name for it. Learning complex topics is not easy. 
like you've probably heard countless times, if it were easy, everyone would do it. Becoming a developer can be one of the most rewarding experiences that someone can have. And part of what makes learning how to code so fulfilling is how many challenges you'll need to overcome in order to succeed. I hope that this has been a helpful guide and that you now have some practical strategies for getting past your own skill plateaus.